Hi there, this is Annie from Polar Explorers, and I have accepted a challenge to explain why the North Pole is so important to our Earth and to our climate in under three minutes. So I'm going to accept the challenge, so get ready to hear me talk really fast. Here's my timer, and here we go. There we go. <laughs> First of all, I love the North Pole for so many reasons. It's the coolest place on the planet. But one of the biggest reasons that I love it is because it keeps our planet so cool. So here are two reasons why the North Pole is so important to life on Earth. First, the top of the planet is covered by a blanket of snow and ice that keeps it cool. This snow and ice is like the secret ingredient in the recipe for a healthy planet. Why? Because when solar radiation and heat come down from the sun, it hits the reflective snow and ice, and between 80 to 90% of the solar radiation, including all that heat, is reflected right back into the atmosphere. Voila! However, under the snow and ice at the top of the planet is an ocean, and when it is exposed, it's dark, and darkness absorbs sunlight and radiation as much as 90%, which means that if we lose the snow and ice at the top of the planet, as is currently happening faster than models predicted, the Arctic and the North Pole will warm at an increasingly rapid rate. So the lesson here is that all the snow and ice is good and we need to do everything we can to protect it. And that means we have to do everything we can to stop global warming. Okay, so you might be asking yourself, well, that's all good for the North Pole and that it gets to stay cold, but how does it affect my life far away from the North Pole? Here's how. The water near the North Pole and around the Arctic is colder than elsewhere in the planet, thanks in part to that awesome blanket of snow and ice that keeps it cold year round. And here's an important fact. Cold water is heavier than warm water. Keep that fact tucked away for right now and let's take a look at what happens when salt water freezes. When salt water freezes at around 28 degrees Fahrenheit or minus two degrees Celsius, it begins to turn into sea ice. But here's the thing, only the water freezes. The salt, which is present in the water, doesn't freeze. It gets squeezed out and it's pushed into the surrounding water. And as more salt water freezes and turns into sea ice, more salt is pushed out. And all this salt makes the water heavier than normal. This heavier water sinks toward the bottom of the ocean and gets replaced by surface water from the south, which is warmer and less salty. But then it too mixes with the Arctic's colder, saltier water and it too sinks. This cycle is repeated over and over again. It's called the thermohaline cycle. Thermo for the temperature difference between the warm surface water and the colder, heavier Arctic water, and haline, which comes from the ancient Greek word for salt. It's also called the Great Ocean Conveyor. In fact, all of the world's ocean water takes the Great Ocean Conveyor to the Arctic to cool down, and it returns much deeper in the ocean where it remains cool and where it also shuffles up all sorts of nutrients. Along the way, it has a very important role of reoxygenating the ocean and keeping it cool. Without these two functions, our oceans would start to die, along with all of our food chain too. So to sum things up, the North Pole and the Arctic in general are extremely important to life on Earth. Without a cold Arctic, without an Arctic covered by snow and ice, there would be no sea ice and no cold water. And without any sea ice and cold water, there would be no thermohaline circulation. And without any thermohaline circulation, there would be no great ocean conveyor. And without that, everything would start to fall apart. A fall apart. Now, let me see, did I do it? Oh, three minutes and one second, but I messed up once saying something. So I think I can back that out and say that I did it honestly in under three minutes. So that's awesome. Now that I've conquered that measly challenge, um, let me tell you in my regular voice that scientists have already detected that that thermohaline cycle is slowing down, which means that it's more important than ever that we stop the drivers that are melting the sea ice in the Arctic and warming our oceans before it's too late. But here's the in really good news is that you can make a difference. And you can do that by paying attention to the way that you live your life and that the choices that you make every single day. One thing that I like to do is every month, I like to write down five things I'm gonna do that month that are gonna help the planet, help limit my carbon emissions and help um, our country and my community choose better options for energy consumption and how we get our energy, whether that's letter writing or talking to people um, and making, taking care of our planet, not a political issue, but a moral issue. Um, but there's so many different things to you, that you can do. And at the end of this video, I'm just gonna list a few of those and put some resources. So thanks for watching my challenge of explaining why the North Pole is so important in under three minutes. I hope you learned something and I will talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.